The machine guns are on their way. I repeat, the machine guns are on their way. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by HipChat Plus. Collaborate, save time, and be more productive with your teams. Invite your team members and get a free 30-day trial at hipchat.com forward slash geekbeat. Before we get to anything else, do you remember about a year ago when I backed that Kickstarter rubber band gun project? No, not that little rubber band gun. I mean the big ass automatic Gatlin gun project. I just got notification that they are shipping me the three guns I ordered. That's right, I got the trifecta. It took a long time to get them made and shipped because Alex is over in the Ukraine and war literally broke out. In fact, Alex and his family had to flee their home and he lost his sister in the process. But despite it all, his team completed the project and he's shipping everyone the rubber band guns. So you can bet that as soon as I get them in, well, Callie better run for the hills. I've also been told that the decadent minimalist wallet I told you guys about, this one right here, ye old wallet, is coming off the assembly line and the John P Extra Thick Edition is on its way soon. So when that arrives, I'll give you an update as well. But if you're one of the folks who ordered one, stay tuned, it won't be long. And for the record, I've been using this sample version since the day I first tried it out, which still shocks me because I would have never told you that I would be using it, and I would have been wrong. And while we're on the subject of crowdfunding projects, Sculpt, the muscle quality analysis gadget that we covered back at CE Week, and that I backed on Indiegogo, is soon to ship us a beta unit. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to show you how that thing works and how best to put it into use in a fitness routine. Speaking of routines, could your team at work use any sort of routine communication? Ah, uh, that's nice. Because if so, HipChat has the solution. Just imagine, I am video chat, document sharing, screen sharing, system updates, code sharing, and more integrated into one simple platform that's optimized for groups. We use HipChat right here. Look, I'll use it now. Carter, bring me a Coke. See how fun and fast that can be? Carter, give Pablo the beat down, but make me some popcorn first. I'll be there in five minutes. I like HipChat because it keeps everyone in line. And now you can try HipChat Plus free, no credit card required. Just visit hipchat.com forward slash geekbeat and try it free for 30 days. And if you're one of the first 100 signups, HipChat is extending the free trial to 90 days. And finally, I've been spending some quality time with the HTC Nexus 9 tablet over the last couple of weeks, and I wanted to give you a rundown on this little device. First of all, let's cover the specs. It's got Android 5.0, which is Lollipop. It's an 8.9 inch IPS LCD TFT display. That's a lot of uh, uh, acronyms, but basically it's 2048 by 1536 resolution. Now, it's also got a 64-bit dual-core NVIDIA Tegra K1 2.3 gigahertz processor, 192-core GPU built into that bad boy, 16 or 32 gigs of flash memory with 2 gigs of RAM. It's got a 1.6 megapixel front camera, and it's got an 8 megapixel rear camera. It weighs just under one pound, and it's about like one third of an inch thick. It also has Wi-Fi with MIMO built into it, and of course it's got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. It's got NFC, Bluetooth 4.1, and GPS. Now, beyond the stats, I found the screen to be very sharp and bright, although not the most touch responsive I've ever encountered. The Samsung Pros hold that honor, but they're in a different price category altogether. Thanks to the 6700 milliamp hour battery, 
the battery life is really quite good and application performance is right up there with the newest tablets available. Gaming, however, is better than average thanks to the heavy duty NVIDIA processing on board, but it's actually the Wi-Fi that surprised me the most. <laughs> Wi-Fi is one of those specs you generally just assume is there, but they did something special with the MIMO Wi-Fi in this Nexus 9 because it is seriously responsive even in places I normally struggle with other devices. In fact, I'm gonna have to give the HTC Nexus 9 an Editor's Choice Award for being the first true 64 bit tablet with a 192 GPU chip, an excellent screen, and just amazing Wi-Fi wi -Fi performance. You can pick up the 16 gig model for 400 bucks, the 32 gigger for 479. You're gonna wanna opt for the bigger one because there is no external expansion slot in these tablets. Okay, that's it for today's show. Check the show notes at geekbeat.tv forward slash 102, 102. O2, it's right down there. And feel free to ping me on Twitter or in the comments if you have any questions. That's it for today's show. I've got something I need to see. <laughs> Bye.